July 5. I'm coming at you today with a flip book share. As you can tell, I have been very busy and I have done quite a few flip books lately. Um, it's something that I enjoy. Um, so I just wanted to share them with you. Some of them are for me, some of them are for friends, and some of them are for Happy Mail. So if you're getting one, close your eyes and don't look because you'll be getting this in the mail soon. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up because I know you're going to love this video. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you'll be notified when all of my new videos come out. And let's get started. The first one I'm going to show you is this little one right here and it just says happy happy all of these um, that I'm about to show you I have just used six by six cardstock um, paper and cut them down to various sizes um, so this one just says happy happy and I've got some cute little embellishments over here I've got some samples of washi We've got some cute little die cuts, some page flags, some little planner stickers right here that you can flip and turn, um, some little post-its, some more little embellishments, some little journaling cards, and some flowers. And then there's the back. This was one of my first ones I did, so I'm not quite as pleased with that as some of the other ones. All right, the next one right here. Um, I just love this one. I love all the colors and how everything flows. A cute little paper clip with a little bow that I made. The dream is real, beautiful moments. Inside we've got a journaling card. Over here we've got a cute little paper clip with a um, a little page flag on it, some more journaling cards that they can flip open, and then on the back a cute little stamp that I made. It says, it's okay to be jealous, and it's a cute little elephant um, with a purse and a bag, and I just thought it was really cute. So that one's just kind of a plain and simple one. Um, it was just four sheets glued back to back and stuck together with some washi love this one i love my happy planners and this one says planning is my jam and i just found these little die cuts off of google i researched um planner die cuts and this is what came out i've got this cute little ribbon right here and um all i did was take one of these little brads and i poked it through the ribbon to get the ribbon to stay and it add like a cute little embellishment to it you open it up and I've got a little doily and some more of these little um, flowers right here. Chin up buttercup. It's a bright new day. Under here we've got some planner stickers, some more planner die cuts. In here we've got, let's see what's in there. There's some little buttons and, and different kind of little embellishments right there. Some more little die cuts. Um, right here we've got some little post-its and then on the back we've got one of these really cute little pop-ups so that is that one and like I said all I did was I took this ribbon and I poked a hole and I used the brads to go through it just to keep it secured and it was just a cute little way of adding another little fun touch to it all right, this one I made last night and I just love it. I added a cute little paper clip with a little gold embellishment right there. Let's be adventurous. A nice little black and gold ribbon. And this one I'm gonna flip upward. I've got some little die cuts. All of these came from the same um, package right here some more little die cuts these are just strips of paper out of the same package that I used and I cut them down and then right here I did some samples of washi open it up and there's some stickers these are just little pieces of of paper out of this same pad and I just cut them down and taped them down with washi little friend sticker this is a project life card and I you flip it up 
and you have got all these really cute little planner stickers that somebody can use and then underneath here here's a little envelope and I think I put the rest of these die cut packages in here and then on the back there we go and then right here the ribbon is a here down with some adhesive and then I just took a strip uh, from that paper pad and um, adhered it down over it and there we go that is that one and we have a few more this one right here says hello and once again I just used ribbon and I did the same thing. I heared it down to the back and I stuck a sticker over it. I put some cute little paper clips right here. Um, these are all stickers and I put ready to use and what I did was I just adhered them down with some adhesive and so all they have to do is peel them off and they are ready to be used. Here's some little tiny Project Life cards. Same over here. And then up here, here's some bigger journaling cards. Oop, that just fell right off. And a cute little envelope. And to be honest, I don't remember what's in there. And then here's some samples of some washi right there. And then there's the back. This is another one um, about planning and Happy Planner. I really, really like this one. I actually have a video on my channel just for this one. A little paper clip that I made with a bow. And it says happy and I really love this this paper because it looks kind of vintagey. Same thing I just googled planner girl die cuts and these came up. Little journaling cards that you can flip through. Really cute little pinwheels and I just took paper from the same pad and cut it into strips. Over here, I took journaling cards and added some extra little embellishments. There we go. And then underneath this one, there's just some really cute little stickers. Like I said, this one I actually have a video on my channel, so you can check that one out. Really, really like this one. Made these really cute little paper clips. I got this from Michael's. Um, off their clearance rack and I um, got these paper clips from Dollar Tree and there we go and this ribbon was in my Michaels grab bag there's also videos for that on my channel so check that out life is sweet this one has all of these were one paper pad and I just cut them out and added them right there and they can be used as little journaling cards little envelope with some journaling cards in there. Same thing here, Project Life cards. This also came in my Michael's grab bag, just a little card. So I wanted to add that. And then underneath there, there's some samples of washi. These are stickers, I did the same thing. So they're ready to use, I just adhered them down. I made this little pocket and stuck some more journaling cards in there. This is the envelope from the card over here, and there is some really cute little fun stickers and some more die cuts over there. In the back, I just left this pretty um, lace like that because I just thought it was really pretty and I didn't want to cover it up. Now these are a little bit different. I've got both of these um, from Michaels off out of their clearance rack and they come in these really cute little tins. And this one was just a plain little book and it came with all of these little embellishments to make the book. And so this is what it looks like, the finished product. I really, really like that. It kind of reminds me of like a little vintage junk journal how cute is that? And the, the back is just plain. But like I said, this was on clearance and I absolutely loved it. It came with these little charms and the little package with all the die cuts in the paper. 
So that's that one. And then this one I got off of Clarence. Once again, this really cute little tin. And this one was just plain. There was no package or anything that came with it. So I just added a little ribbon and a little paper clip. Let's see which way it opens. And here we go. And then I just added um, all of everything from my own stash. A little doily, some paper. I added some washi around the side of it. Once again, this is like that very vintage um, theme. This one is more like a kind of a love, a love theme. There we go. Oh, and there's the back of this one. All right, guys, there you go. I hope that you like this video. Like I said, I've really been in to these flip books lately. Um, some of them are going to friends and family and some of them are going to happy mail. So I do hope if you get one that you do enjoy it. Um, thanks for joining me and letting me share some of my projects with you. Um, please comment and let me know if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to see. Um, I really like to hear from you and to know what kind of things you're looking for or if you have any ideas on how I can improve any of my projects, that would be awesome. Thanks for joining me guys. Until next time, bye.